We uh, were interested in non-surgical treatment of rectal cancer, so I led the team from Clatterbridge and went to Lyon in France in 1992 and we set up the first uh, facility in this country in 1993. So we have now treated over a thousand patients with this technique. These are mainly elderly patients who are not suitable for surgery. So um, over the years, we have accumulated a lot of experience. And what we're trying to do is to start presenting our data. And, and this is a selected uh, 200 patients, data on 200 patients that we uh, have uh, presented as a poster. Unfortunately, I was asked to do a oral presentation as well by the Royal College of Radiologists. These patients are elderly patients with, uh, some of them are early tumors, some of them are more advanced tumors, but they have the external beam radiation, which is what uh, people would do if they're not fit for surgery. And then, um, usually there is a residual tumor, and most of the time they don't offer any additional treatment in which case most of the patients will have a recurrence within a year or two years, and they, they went on to palliative uh, care. But with our treatment, with the minimal residual disease, we can show that we can improve the local control uh, considerably. Uh, if you just give external beam, there's about 30 to 40% risk of local regrowth, as we call it. By doing this contact radiation, which is a superficial X-ray, 50 kb X-ray treatment, we can reduce those regrowths down to about 11%, which is considerable. Implication is uh, there are several, actually, as I highlighted in my poster. Initially, uh, there is a growing aging population in UK, and not just in UK, in Europe as well. Uh, secondly, there is a lot of publication on the harm of surgery for these elderly patients by several big centers, including several from the UK. And thirdly, and most importantly, increasingly, early stage rectal cancers are being diagnosed through the National Bowel Cancer Screening Program, which we had in this country for nearly 10 years. And these patients are being offered a, a treatment that goes back 100 years, you know, doing a major surgery, ripping the rectum out, and then giving a, a, a permanent stoma in about 40% of cases. And this is clearly unacceptable. So my treatment would improve the local uh, control by reducing these local regrowths after external beam and avoid these elderly patients who are at the high risk of surgical mortality and morbidity, giving them a, a better quality of life and survival for the duration of the survival. Majority of these patients do not die from their cancer, they die from other medical comorbidities, which most of them had. For me, uh, NICE has now approved this treatment, uh, and they have uh, published a recommendation in September of 2015 as the IP532, which obviously has helped for these elderly patients, because in most of the colorectal MDTs, they don't regard Papillon as a, a standard of care. The standard of care is still surgery, and they uh, persuade or force patients to have surgery, which uh, they all like to avoid. And by doing this treatment, we were able to give them an option. The beauty of my treatment is if it doesn't work, if there's a residual tumor at the end of the treatment, they can still have surgery and then get their cancers cleared. In the current national and international guidelines, there is no provision for this type of treatment. All the guidelines state is that standard of care is surgical treatment, which has got the high mortality and morbidity in elderly patients. So I like to persuade the powers that be, the, the policy makers, that you know, next step should be an option for these elderly patients for the treatment of these early rectal cancers so that they can avoid the surgical harm.